Hi, this is Michelle at AppWorks. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a let function. We'll start by opening our data viewer and beginning a new expression. The let function is a little different than most other functions that you'll come across in FileMaker. So rather than try to explain it, I will show you how it works. We're going to first add in some brackets so that we can add in multiple expressions before eventually outputting a calculation. Now, an expression is very similar to creating a variable. So if I were to say date equals get current date and then output date in our calculation section, you'll see that we get the current date. So the nice thing about this is I can change what's up here in our expression and have it automatically update down here. This probably doesn't seem very useful right now. We could have just put get current date plus one down here, but in a long, complex calculation, a let statement can really come in handy to instantiate a lot of variables, help you shorten your code in your actual calculation, which will be here, and generally just make for a more readable code. <coughs> so now that we've created our first one, let's go ahead and keep going. And if we output next week instead, now we have next week. Another use of a let function is to create actual variables that can be used during a script. If we say let dollar sign date equal get current date, then when we hit monitor, this variable would actually be created. Now, we aren't in the process of a script, so it won't stay, but if we were running a script, then this variable would then become available to the entire script. If we add two dollar signs, making this a global variable, and we say monitor, we're going to find this new global variable here on our current tab. That's just one more use of the let function. So now that we know we can output the result of one of our expressions, let's go ahead and actually use this in a calculation. So we will do a case statement and we will check to make sure that get current date equals the date. If so, we will output result of one or true. Otherwise, we will say false. And as you can see, we instantly get our result of one and our calculation works correctly. Thanks for watching.